Did you know that uh, one teaspoon of soil contains more living organisms than there are people on earth? Amazing, right? It's like an entire hidden world living right under our feet. Okay, so but why are we talking about microbes in soil? Well, these tiny organisms are like invisible helpers working behind the scenes. They make the soil rich and fertile, which is what allows crops to grow. So that brings us to the next big question. How do we make sure we grow enough crops to feed everyone while keeping the soil healthy? That's where the crop production and management come into play. It's not just about growing food. It's about growing it the right way so we can take care of ourselves and still leave enough for future generations. After all, if we don't care for the soil, who will? Let's jump into the details of crop production and management to understand how, make, how we make this happen. Let's take a quick trip back in time, around 90,000 BC, where humans lived as nomads, moving from one place to another in search of food. Back then, they ate raw fruits and vegetables and hunted animals to survive. But as humans evolved, they learned to cultivate land grow crops like wheat and rice and began practicing agriculture. Now I have been mentioning the word crop a couple of times now. What do you mean by a crop? I mean you know already what vegetables are. You are familiar with wheat and rice. But what do I mean when I say crop? See to simply put it is any type of plant that is grown and harvested in large quantities that too at a specific location for example if i am talking about wheat crop it means wheat as a plant is grown and harvested in large quantities now that's what a crop is rice is a crop barley is a crop green peas is a crop because these are the plants that are grown and harvested in large quantities at specific locations India being a diverse agricultural country with different climatic conditions like temperature, rainfall and humidity gives us perfect setup to grow a variety of crops. Now these crops are classified based on the season in which they grow. For example, take a look here. We have paddy which gives us rice, then we have groundnuts, then we have uh, yeah, this one is soybean and uh, cotton. These crops like paddy, uh, groundnuts, soybean and cotton love the monsoon season. And the crops that grow during the monsoon or the rainy season from June to September are called kharif crops. And why are they called kharif? What does that word even mean? Well, in Arabic, kharif means autumn. That's because these crops are sown during the monsoon, that is in the month of June, and harvested in autumn that is in the month of September so kharif crops are those crops that grow during the monsoon or rainy season of June to September similarly crops like wheat mustard green peas and barley are grown during the winter season which is from October to March in India these are called rabai crops Again, the word rabbi is from Arabic and it means spring. Why? That's because these crops are sown during winter, beginning of winter, that is October, and harvested by end of spring, that is March. Makes sense, right? Yes. So the crops that are grown during the winter season, that's from October to March, are known as rabbi crops. And there are few vegetable pulses and vegetables like tomato, okra and all that are grown during the summer seasons in certain parts of the country and they are classified as summer crops. And in India, the summer crops are grown during the time of April-May. So the crops like some of the vegetables and pulses that are grown during the summer during the time of April to May are called summer crops. We started this with a big question, how do we grow enough crops to feed everyone while keeping the soil healthy? That's where crop, crop production and management came in. It's all about growing crops the right way to sustain ourselves and the future generations. We learned that 
crop is a plant grown and harvested in large quantities. In India, with its diverse climate, crops are grown in different seasons and are classified into three types. Kharif crops, which are grown during the rainy season of June to September. Then Rabai crops, which are grown during the winter, that is October to March. And summer crops, which are grown during April and May. Now, examples of Kharif crops include paddy, groundnut, soya bean, and cotton. Whereas examples of rabbi crops which are grown during winter includes wheat, mustard, green peas, and barley. And the summer crops are some of the pulses and vegetables. Now it makes very sense why some crops are very common during winter and some crops are very common during summer. Like the mutter or green peas is very common during the winter season. That's because crops are seasonal, thriving in specific thriving in specific conditions they need to grow.